You need to listen to me. Yeah. Because I talk a lot, but I'm only going to say this once. You either let Morgan stay here, or I will tell him that you tried to kill me. I have no idea what don't, you're talking about. Don't. Don't even bother trying to deny it. What you did? What are my parents doing in there? I don't know. Trying to convince my mom to let me stay is pointless, though. FYI, there's nothing you can say to change your mind. That's who you were talking about when you said you knew who tried to kill you? Our daughter's boyfriend's mother? I have a name. Yeah, yes, of course you do. Forgive me. Carly. She wants you dead. She lured me to her hotel. She owns a hotel. Really, she owns the whole place. Won't let anybody forget it. So she gets me out on the terrace. And I'm looking forward to what I'm hoping will be a fruitful conversation about some of the issues that have popped up between... I just want assurances that my kids were... There was were a gunman. Okay laying in wait. I saw a glimpse, a, a flash of light from an upstairs window. But Carly's hitman was a misman. He missed me and instead hit Carly's hotel manager. I had nothing to do with the Lydia shooting. So the I was cleared of any involvement. have questioned you? Yes, because I own the hotel. See? Da, 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 da. They found nothing to connect me with the shooting because I didn't do it. Won't you read the paper, Franco? Shockingly, someone else wants you dead. As you can see, I'm in the clear. I understand there were two shooters. Who's to say you didn't hire them both? Are you serious? That's beyond crazy. Doesn't sound crazy to me. Does it sound crazy to you? What are you talking about? He is crazy. Actually, I think Ava makes an excellent point. It's not beyond the realm of possibility, considering your commitment towards hating me. Why wouldn't you hire two snipers? Make sure I'm doubly dead. You should know that might make Morgan twice as upset. This is how you prove you're a changed man? By blackmailing me and risking my kid's okay, safety? That, that's not unfair, given my past and the wide gray area I have when it comes to morality. But you should know that Morgan is perfectly safe. I'm not going to hurt him. Why don't you prove your goodwill by letting him go? Because I have my own child's well-being to consider. And I believe that she would benefit from making strong, loving bonds with both of her parents, and she wants her boyfriend here. And since said parents are in a position to make that happen, I think everybody wins. You don't have leverage over me. The police think I'm innocent. I give a damn what the two of you think about me. And what about what your son thinks of you? Parents are wasting their time. My parents have gone insane. Last week, my mom tried to stab my dad with a letter opener, and this week, their tongues are fused together. That is insane. I think everyone is except us. Sorry you ever got involved with me. No. Kidding? Best thing that's ever happened to me. It's us against the world, right? Right. All right, look. I got to know Morgan pretty well when he was staying at my place in New York. Yeah, about that. Here's a thought. Why not call his parents? He's an adult. He's a college student, and he got himself into trouble and you looked the other way. I listened. And it's a good thing I did. That Morgan, he has a lot to say about his place in his family, or lack thereof. Excuse me? Yes. He told me all about being shipped off to boarding school, how he felt like he'd been banished from his home and family. My son wasn't banished. I sent him away to protect him. Right. From his father's coffee business. And yet here you are, at the center of a caffeine-ordered hit. A little hypocritical, no? You know absolutely nothing about my son, so don't you dare presume to know. She's right, you know, let's not presume. Let's not guess at all. Let's ask the man in question ourselves. What the hell do you think? Children! Come back to the grown-up table, please. There's something we'd like to discuss with you, Morgan. It's about your mother. Mom, what's going on? Well, this may or may not come as a surprise to you, Morgan, but your mother's made a decision. She has decided... I decided that you can stay. What? Seriously? Yeah. I mean, this is obviously where you want to be. Yeah, no, no offense, but that didn't really matter to you before. 
What changed your mind? Well, we did. Didn't we? I'm sorry, but this is weird. You were about to drag me out of here kicking and screaming. What do they have on you? <laughs> That's a good one. It actually what wasn't that say? hard of a sell. I just told your mom how happy Kiki makes you. I, I've been telling her that for weeks. I explained to Carly that if she truly loves Morgan, she'll let the two of you be together. You really said that? We both did. Well, what about, you know, all the stuff he did? You know, Morgan, um... Yes, you know, I was able to convince Carly that Franco is a changed man. Now, he may still be a work in progress, but if anybody can keep him in line, I can. I do have you wrapped around my little finger, haven't yes, I? Yes, do, certainly do, do. I'm... Take my lunch. Ew. Ew, not ew, me, ew, you. You're the ew. Well, we're just so happy to be back together. It's not like we can help ourselves. No, no. Sweetheart. Ooh, Sweetheart. Ooh. Wow, is that really how you see him? Is that a problem? Well, before I only had to deal with you. Now I have to deal with you and Ava. And she thinks of you as a sweetheart. Hey, I, I thought you were okay with this. I am. You don't have to worry, Mom. I'll be fine. You better be. Because if you're not, I'm holding these two personally responsible. She worries too much. We're gonna be fine, right? Look at us, we're one big happy family. Hey, Father Dearest, cool with the kumbaya stuff, okay? I'll work on him. You two kids go back to doing whatever it is that you two kids do, okay? Thanks for letting me stay mm -hmm. again. I promise you're not going to regret it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You know what? You guys may have won this battle, but the war isn't over. I will figure out what game you're playing, and when I do, you better watch out. We bested that woman and scored points with our daughter at the very same time. I think we make a good team after all. Yeah, we sure do. There's just one problem. I'm not convinced Carly's behind both of the shootings. What do you mean? You know, I'm pretty sure one of the shooters was Carly's. But I think that the other one was you. 